What's going on everybody? Welcome to One Time TV. In today's edition of One Time TV, we're going to be answering questions from my message board. And uh, the first question comes from Shane Ellery. Do you think you will break the CFL's rushing record this season? And Shane will answer your question and say yes. I have no doubt in my mind that if I stay focused and my O-line stays focused and grinds out week in and week out, that we will have no problem breaking the CFL's rushing record. Next question comes from a Brandon. Brandon didn't leave me his last name, so I'll just say part of his email. Brandon1995. This question is, from my stint in Saskatchewan, what do I think of Rider Nation, and what does it mean to me to play in this year's Grey Cup? <clears throat> well, honestly, Brandon, it will mean everything to me to play in the Grey Cup this year. First, when I came up here, people told me how big the Grey Cup was and how big it would be to the city if we won it at home. And I just wanted to bring that to the city and bring joy to the city and bring a championship back to the city. And I love Rider Nation. It's the most amazing thing I've ever been a part of. There's no place like it in Canada. I, honestly, there's no place like it even in the States. Uh, Rider Nation is crazy. Y'all take care of the, the team 100% of the way. Second question, or la next question comes from a Rick. Rick didn't leave his last name as well. Uh, so I'll say part of his uh, email as well. It's Bobby Lou. And his question is, do you know who Mr. George Reed is? And have you talked to him? And has he given any, any advice? Um, George has talked to me a few times on several occasions. Me and him speak on a regular occasion whenever we see each other. And... This year he hasn't given me any advice, but next time I talk to him, I'm, I'm going to ask him about the pressures he's faced when he was playing ball and the pressures he had to deal with and things that challenged him during the seasons here and how did he cope with them and how did he deal with them. So hopefully that when things come across my way this season, I'm able to deal with them in a, in a good fashion. <clears throat> next one is from Caleb Hove. He says he's my big, one of my biggest fans. Everybody go follow him. On Vine, his name is Sheets Fan One, and his question is: At the beginning of the season, do I think did I think I would be this good, and why did I choose number one? Well, to answer your first question is yes. I honestly expected my gameplay to be this. I'm my biggest critic. Week in, week out, I will look at things that I do wrong, not the things that I do right. I could have a 40-yard run, 50-yard run, 60-yard run. And I will watch it a few times, but that's not something I'm going to focus on because that play worked. I look at the things that I did wrong. Like if I missed a block, missed a hole, made the wrong read, didn't break a tackle, how I could have broke that tackle, or what, what steps I could have taken to make sure I made that right read and had another big play. Last question of the day comes from Tristan. <laughs> Tristan didn't leave his last name either. So uh, uh, Tristan's email is Tristan Rumba. And Tristan asked me, how would I like to win the Grey Cup this year? I would love to. I've never won a championship game on a major level outside of high school. And it would mean everything to me if we brought this home and did what we were supposed to do and brought this to see another championship. So I would like to thank everybody that sent in questions. If I didn't answer your question on this video, I promise you I will answer it in your email. And everybody keep continuing sending me questions, and I will answer them weekly. <clears throat> so, on that note, y'all have a good night. Mission 2K is still in progress. Go Riders.